Dum, dum. Okay, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ready now, I'm ready now. Let me close the remaining things. Quid. Pro quo. Huh? Here. Minecraft. There we are. Ah, um, Missy Colony teleport. Yes, Zelda. <laughs> My second favorite game after Mine Colonies. Let's sleep quickly and let me send out the announcement quickly. There we go. Oh wow. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Let me open here. So, um, <laughs> hello and welcome everyone to another Mine Colonies Let's Play with the Developers episode. Um, as promised in the last episode, I did upload a brand new version to the server that does include a bunch of little updates as well as a few updates that are not even on the version that we just pushed to CurseForge yet. Um, that includes the beekeeper that is already on CurseForge as well. Seems to be missing a language string though. Does it? Yes, it has a recipe. But it includes a few of um, little fixes as for the request system especially that I finished today, fortunately. Uh, hi, Minecraft Charlie. Um, talking about that, there is a language string missing there, Minecraft Charlie, for the beekeeper. <laughs> Just notice it right now. Um, it has a, a few little fixes. Um, let me just double check those fixes. I can even tell you guys about what is going to happen. Oh, I guess the server restart also reloaded the barbarian yes the server restart did reload the barbarian apparently um so this update we're playing on right now um, includes a little fix that uh, stops citizens from um, creating hunger and diseases while you're offline, which I think is probably going to help us quite a bit in this colony. I have a feeling that a bunch of citizens get sick when we're offline. Um, it fixes some schematic issues there were, which will allow us to make like huts in huts. Like we're planning to put the where the delivery men huts within the warehouses. Um, it makes the herder finally request enough um, wheat, which is going to be very important. Um, it's going to reduce something where you've guys seen probably already, where the Fletcher had like a lot of recipes. I was fixing that. Um, Yeah, you can see here now, there is probably 16 wheat in the warehouse, and instead of requesting 2, he is requesting 16, so that is pretty neat, finally. Um, 
Today I saw CPW uploading some screenshots about the first mods getting ported in the Forge chat to 116. And it seems that for most mods, most things should be fairly easy to port. However, we do know that the GUI rendering of Structurize is going to need a bunch of work because that and was reworked completely. <laughs> uh, hi there, Aztec Consulting. Yeah, we, we, we've been having a lot of uh, fun of Dire Wolf derping around with mine colonies. And it did give us a few ideas on how thing, things we want to improve. And of course, there are a bunch of things he was uh, complaining about. Those are things we're going to start working relatively soon. Like I, guess, like I announced already, one of the next things after all the um, porting actions, etc. Most likely we're going to start working on having the builder prefetch more materials, having the builder request batches of materials and not only one he needs and then also in combination of that having the delivery man deliver Batches like if the same worker requests multiple things and all things the delivery man has a delivery to that place the delivery man should also Like batch a few requests together to only make one trip but to Probably depend on this building level. So it's like on level one. It would be one request and two two and three four and four eight and on five as many as he can take basically oh very neat Piotras I'm glad you were able to finish your exams I could teach the no I think the the sawmill can't make beds um, I do have some wool hair Perfect. I bet it was red beds, right? No, that's not a problem. Just gotta... First of all, we do need poppies. Gonna give me two. We don't have that. Um, so, red wool I want. Can you... Okay, I'm going to... If the sawmill worker can do that, I'm going to teach him that quickly. So I'd, I don't have to do it. That's a quick recipe as well to execute. I hope we do not have enough open recipes in the sawmill. It's relatively low level. We do have enough red wool. I'm sure, pretty sure about that. Teach recipe. Bed. Red bed. No, that's not the one I wanted. I want one with acacia. No, not the... Yes. No, jungle... Ah! <laughs> Darn it. Almost, we're getting there. Just gotta do it. Vertical jungle plants. I come on. <laughs> ah, wait, wait. I have, I have an idea. I have an idea. I can click those away, and add those. Ta-da! Someone say I'm not creative. There we go. And let's check out the builder. I'm going to join quickly the... Ah, I'm here already. Hi, Sam Adams. Hey. Sam Adams is already lurking around before he actually came online. Yeah. Actually, I'm sh hey, not, not... I'm not supposed to... Yeah. It's because adding a recipe and removing a recipe is something we've added... Uh, yes. Not not as long ago is going to reset all the requests with similar recipes, with similar blocks in them. Um, you updated the Mycolonies first. Yes, uh, I uploaded it to dr our drive as well. It includes the fixes I was working on today. Finally, John, do you remember remember what I was telling about yesterday? 
and welcome Halken. How are you? Our new follower. Um I build faster than any man. Yes, it would the newest one already works. There is a beekeeper recipe. It has a beehive in the middle. Um not yet. I think not yet. The rabbit hatch schematics I think are not yet included. Oh there we have a lot of space to dump all our stuff. Oh Samadans, you don't believe it. Do you know what happened when I logged in? No. Um Citizen was killed by Barbarian. Oh you found the last barbarian. Seemingly we did. <laughs> So I guess he really was unloaded somehow, but still alive. Yeah, kind of weird. Seems like one of these Minecraft, Minecraft edge game. cases. Yeah. I I wanted to throw experience potions at Jennifer. I threw one against the wall. Now the beekeeper is already working, but it doesn't have schematics. Oh. And then, but it has the schematic already in the version we released today, as far as I remember. So let's see. Well, we have a bunch of sick people. Did she just have two sicknesses? Yeah, she had two uh, diseases, but that is... They can only have one, but they can have two triggers. Oh, okay. Um, yes, you can get it through J as well. I am on the newest. I mean, I am on the newest. But we don't have a um, a schematic that would fit in the in the one here in the colony here. Um, the first that comes up, I will have to look into that. But it's because. It's like a citizen gets sick of one that creates the trigger and then the citizen gets sick of a second one and the trigger only checks for having an, an illness and not the illness. So John is going to make the Acacia Beekeeper and maybe next episode we can then add a beekeeper to the... I also fixed the thing about the waypoints in that version I'm playing on right now. So thinking about that, I can place them down now. I think... let me can... let me see if there are some still in the list and if I have to cancel them maybe. Um, Acacia schematics is John. And sandstone schematics, um, I'm not sure. Luna definitely works on them, but I'm not sure if anyone else. Let me remove those infrastructure ones so that I know exactly where I'm placing it, so I'm not placing too many. Sandstone is still Luna, Kugu? Okay. Um. Let me do something here quickly. Um, I think yes, the alternative wooden warehouse is also fixed in the version I'm currently on. Yes, that should work. Also, um, I had that on my list of no, that was the wrong infrastructure tab. Infrastructure here. Waypoint, there we go. One lower. Here one. That one derped again. Doesn't like that place for some reason. This one it likes. Okay. Okay. This one it doesn't like. This one it likes. Ah no, it created one on the top of the... Oh, it liked it, but it put it all on the tree. Uh, 
So let let. <laughs> okay, I derped. <laughs> I'm going to turn. Uh, I'm going to remove all of them again and start over. Yeah, we have some general ideas planned on the the illness improve things. Definitely, that would that's actually a pretty neat idea. I'm going to keep that in mind. Using we already had the idea of in general when you give citizen varied food that going to result in general in a happier citizen, but using it also for illness does make a lot of sense too. Okay, we want one here once. So I don't have to wait for the confirmation of the thing because it just places it on the top of the tree. Two. Here. There. And maybe we put one here just to force them to go here. And one. There we go. That should be fine. Yeah, the soldiers, they're pretty rough with what they eat. They don't care a lot about the quality of their food. Yes, when you're on level 5 of a warehouse, you can pay emerald blocks to upgrade the storage. And each upgrade adds basically an additional row of storage to each rack. I'm hearing here citizen healing on the way. Um, talking about fixes, it also has a fix for seeing um, the guards on their bags because of illness walking around the colony. We got a bunch of sick people here. Let me check where the healer is actually. Um. <coughs> Where is the healer? What are you doing, healer? I'm, I'm recalling you. Right away. What's it today, then? Uh. Oh, it seems it golden ab apple and honeycomb he needs. Okay. Um, that is not going to be so easy, I guess. Golden apples. I do think we have some. I do have a golden apple here. Also in my chest. Yes. But honeycomb, I don't have. How do I get a honeycomb again? Besides the obvious one. I guess I just right click a, a beehive, right? Shears. I need shears. Okay. Okie dokie. I don't think we have a bee beehive. Uh, yeah, we do need a beekeeper. Definitely. Um, and I need a fire, right? What was the recipe for the campfire? Coal? Okay, I got everything for that. Uh, was it logs? Yes, it was wood actually. So I do need a little bit of wood for that. Dum -de -dum. Yeah, we can check out probably around the lumberjack. I have a feeling that we might get lucky there. Um, sticks? I think it was something like this, wasn't it? A piece of coal? Yes! Nailed it. There we go. So let's see if some are around here. They only spawn if there's flowers around. There's some flowers around this area. No. None here. None here either. Okay, I might have to go outside the colony then to try to find one. Hi Pokefreak, how are you? I've been busy as always. 
and Mindconnies has been progressing quite amazingly, I have to say. We've updated a lot of things and a lot of new features. Dum de dum. Come on, there must be a beehive somewhere. Hey, are you out searching for stuff again? Yes. You could try the jungle. Maybe there are some people. <laughs> um. Flower forest or plains biome? And dang it. Can I just place a bunch of flowers in our colony? And just hope and it. Then. And hope some spawn with the lumberjack. That works? No, but you can make some flowers, they look nice. So I'm going to place around a, f a few flowers around the lumberjack. So he's here. Oswin is still outside of the colony, I see. I did see already beehives I failed to use accordingly in our colony, to be fair spawning next to the lumberjack so i guess it does work well, I think um, I put one there one time i saw two there to be honest okay. um and where did they go did you kill them i thought you mined them with an with a no, pickaxe I didn't touch them. No, I thought you could mine them. I did try to mine them and I failed <laughs> to mine them. Um, okay, do nice. We, do we need some oak trees? No, we definitely don't. Let oh. me get some flowers here. Okay, the back. acacia trees. Yes, the fisherman talks about fish he's going to catch today. Um, some poppies, some oxy daisies, some wildflowers, cornflowers. Should have said I should plant no moss. No, I'm going to plant them. I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the the lumberjack is going to plant new trees all the time anyway. So that's that should be fine. Like see here, yeah. a bunch of trees are going to grow around here. So just have to place down them and the rest is going to work out automatically basically. Oak or birch trees, it doesn't doesn't it work with um, other trees? Spruce? No? Only oak or birch? It would be this this one here is an oak tree. Okay, so I'm going to put it around the oak tree here. Spruce also works, okay. So we got the spruce trees here. Yeah, that's better. Now I know. <laughs> now it's easier. That's the spruce tree too. Okay, so we got a bunch of things around here. So just let me turn that on in the... Yeah, yeah, it needs to be saplings, but I'm just going to turn on those again. Um, sunny Blossom, Flooring Oak and Birch. Just going to turn them on. And then the Lumberjack is going to cut them down. And they're going to grow and maybe we're going to get lucky and get some beehives. And we're in 115, sorry, Pokey. Let's see, 115 Minecraft version. 116 Forge is not even released yet, so that might need a bit yet. Let me drink something. Yeah, 
and Arger died. Disappointing. <laughs> I mean, we if always he died, he did. deserved it. <laughs> we always port to the newest mine Minecraft versions, and unless Minecraft does something we inherently disagree with, we will always do so. But we will never give guarantees on how long that might take. Yeah. That's probably a, a good way to put it. Yeah, we don't even know ourselves how long it may take, so... <laughs> how can we tell? Yes, there is no one. Uh, there is no one sixteen forge version yet. At least not out yet. So we're waiting for that to happen first. What can I do for you? Okay, I'm going to give you all kinds of stuff to heal citizens. I actually shouldn't have given him everything, right? How is the work going? Give me some of this, and I'm going to give it to the citizens. So here you need carrot, what is it? carrot and potato, here, carrot, and yes, they are riding minecarts, that's one of the 115 updates, there is now a university, where you can research things. And when you research that, right away. you can basically... Now we're hearing a lot of music, everyone getting cured. Yes, we do have now a hospital and the disease system as well, where citizens can get randomly sick. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of music. Um, let me get the remaining potatoes here. Yay, iron armor researched. There we go. <laughs> a lot of we got a lot of people complaining about pirates lately. <laughs> Hi I Irish Chef. I have to say they're quite ruthless, but in normal mode they should be fairly handleable. In our game mode, they have like 50% more health. So yeah. in normal, with some guards, it should be just fine. Yes. But I think people tend to under make guard towers and barracks. I think the people under under make especially walls. <laughs> yeah, walls have a ton. Um, what else can we add? So we have the combat tree. So oh wow, the block attacks is almost finished at ten percent too. And is our archery level three yet? I don't think so. So I'm going to need that one here yet. No, for sure not. Just no. The thirteen one mine colonies is also the newest structure ice. Um, it is now um, six citizens, by the way. You can now go up to six citizens without fearing anything, basically. Um, but I would... it doesn't make much sense to just stay at six citizens, oh. because the rates grow with ah, building size as well. So when you stay long at six citizens and have a ton of buildings, once you get to seven, you'll get quite big rates for your few citizens. Yeah, did you hear it? So, so basically, it's not a good idea. If you are like, ah, I'm going to stay a long time at fewer citizens, then the first raids you're going to get are fairly strong. And you have no guards yet. Also. And since you don't have a lot of citizens, you're also not going to have a lot of guards taking care of that. So it makes sense to get guard, especially walls early on, and then slowly expand around the walls. 
but it's always been like that that mechanic has always been there it's not something we've added recently to make it more difficult for you guys it's always been like that you made it a bit easier since it's now six people yeah we made it even easier so you have more time to get necessary buildings and set up some guards uh, yeah I'm um, pokey we're going to release a new mod pack relatively soon where we're also going to set up a patreon server so anyone who is I oh know I canceled the upgrade so anyone who is interested um, the pack is going to be more vanilla like but we're going to have a few interesting mod as well to make it definitely an interesting and balanced experience down the um Um, for now, we ha we don't want these items to be repaired because we these those are fairly powerful items, and we kind of like them to be. Mm. Um, I'm going to complain to Orion quickly. I saw him update the dependency, not sure. Where, I'm going to tell him version released curse. I think he didn't update the mod tunnel. It, it's in our git backlog. Yeah, I but, saw it earlier. But did he update the tunnel as well? Yes. Let me check here. Uh, that's that's Mark. No, he didn't. Only the build properties. Oh, you're right. Never mind. So he's going to update the mod tunnel, <laughs> and that will then work. <laughs> Um, you could edit the char by hand and it's like the tunnel file in the resources so that's possible but dum -de -dum. Okay, so I just told Orion and he's going to take care of that. Should be, because it's just going to need an update in the push, so that should be done in a minute or so. Well, I can't wait to finally get automatic versions pushed out again. Been ages. Um, it's not released yet, yeah, the, newest, <laughs> the newest mod pack, Pokey. It's going to be a new mod pack we're going to release relatively soon. The new Patreon mod pack we're currently building. And patrons already are um, got a few of them got a sip from Wissy to play around with it, and people seem to be fairly happy with the current setup. We're probably going to reduce the um, quark stuff a little bit in the config, but mainly it's probably going to stay like that. Um. A probably a, a decent 115 pack with mine colonies is probably Valhalsia, I would say. They seem to be updating fairly often. Even though a lot of people tell me all the time the best thing of Valhalsia is mine colonies. <laughs> I mean, we won't disagree with that. Yeah, we will definitely not tell them them otherwise. Tam di dam. Let's see how our builders are doing meanwhile. Did you ex exchange soul with dum di dum? 
<laughs> so dum de dum. I have both. I have so and dum de dum. Okay. okay. So oh, nice. So he he got the the beds and from the crafter and is now working. Oh, some items. Do you know that problem you described? That some requests got stuck weirdly. Yeah. Um, it's because we were missing an equals. It was bigger and not bigger than and equals. Oh. <laughs> it's the. Yeah, it's because explains it. It's because the warehouse said I can take care of the entire request. No, I can take care of the partial request, and then in the handling. It said, actually, I can take take care of all of it. All of it. Because it was only that only happened if it was like a one block difference. Like if yeah, they were because they had different checks. Exactly. One yes. Bigger and one check bigger equals. So that was why oh, yeah. it was like for two bookshelves, like it requested three bookshelves, and the warehouse had two, and it got stuck. Oh, yeah. And it's nice find. Yeah, I was uh, digging around. <laughs> and then similarly, like if the wear is at one torch, it would get stuck as well because that's in one in minimum count is one kind of super annoying bug. <laughs> yeah, but that bug was is now fixed in the version we are playing right now in terms of uh, release. With the build system, maybe some add uh, some, add some add ons and Orion are going to review the pull request until tomorrow. And then we can merge that tomorrow too. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Just need a review for it. That also includes the fix for the alternative yeah, warehouse. Yeah, to merge, I see. <laughs> huh? It's a small pull request. Yeah. So I, I should read it and not find any issues with it and approve it. <laughs> you should try. It's like peer review in, in science. You should try at least to find issues with it. Like looking at it. Oh, looks like code. Yeah, code is right. Approved. <laughs> um, that's a good question, actually, Margo. Um, if people submit us custom styles, we can um, verify them and upload them on the Patreon server. In terms of decorations, all decorations will be usable, but custom styles in terms of buildings have to go through approval first to see if they meet the minimum requirements. Like, that people don't make five dirt hat block hats to cheat up their colonies. Yeah, you have to wait until that's uh, merged anyway. It's just, I think it's not even, let me see here. Where is it? Okay, it is, has a dab grade in the list, so that should be fine. Mm -hmm. sit. Are you sleeping here in the racks? No, he left only because I went to look after him. A lazy. I don't believe it. It's they are quite good at finding places to sleep. And they are usually very well hidden. <laughs> like, yes. no one can see that I'm not working. Yes, yes. They, they've been... It's like, it would be kind of interesting, like, um, or um, Azure one, I had this discussion with Azure one, once, to put maybe like some, a little database on the server, and do some machine learning techniques, right? Like when a worker um, sleeps at the place and gets w woken up quickly, like collects a set of data and will, won't sleep at a place with a similar data anymore. <laughs> or, yeah, similar things, right? When a worker dies, the other 
And when the guard dies, the other guards will see how the guard died and will try to avoid coming in a situation like this or something like this. Could be like a interesting thing someday. <laughs> yeah, I mean technically it's, it's not un uninteresting. Exactly, it's, it technically is not uninteresting. So I always wonder how performance with that kind of stuff is. Yeah, the problem is that for most of it you need kind of... It has to be off thread, right? Yeah. You can't do that on the main thread, definitely yeah, not. I think so as well. I'm still lurking around here hoping a <laughs> hive spawns. Just remembering, I do not have actually a... Oh nice, that was quick. I actually do not have a um, book for... What is the name? Silk Touch. I don't have that. Do I have a book somewhere? I definitely need more books. That's that's already a fact. Yeah, we need more sick touch. Efficiency. Touch would be fine. Yeah, we had a, a silk touch tool, but it's kind of gun. Yeah. I think I, I either Lex or Asha too good. Yeah. Some people. Yeah, to pick. Some people. Not even playing on here. Yeah. Not even playing and interfering with the progress. Yeah, Asher is still working. Working, maybe I wouldn't say working <laughs> with us. <laughs> He, he is hanging around with us. That is probably definitely a good description. Oh, I remember that one too. <laughs> um, let me see how our builders are doing again. Leo, did you get the doors you were needing? Yes, and he's at end this side now, so he's progressing neatly. Let me check out Chenny, our best builder as of now. Yeah, you you guys take care of Chenny if she's fine. Okay, I'm not gonna be in my. <laughs> what did you do? You only need a hammer and I hit one. Ready <laughs> you, <laughs> you hit one, you got totally attacked by how many of them? A six, three, or four. But that's intended. I sometime I added that they pass targets along to others, maybe. Ah, nice, yes. Yeah, def definitely, John. <laughs> ah, nice. She she placed the doors, so we probably are around here. We're we going to get up relatively soon. Let's I'll see. Do you have some weird stacks of baked potatoes? You didn't see any seventy-four item stack. <laughs> yeah, I implemented that some time ago, and they kind of. Once they enter the bow attacking mode, they seem to not undo it anymore. Wanna know how builders party? Sea Lantern? Luckily we had a pirate raid that gave us a bunch of those blocks. Not that I need anyone soon, because we had enough. Uh, what is the name of... What's the name of that sea lantern? I have to see... Lantern... Prismarine stuff, okay. Prismarine... So I need, what, 10 of those and 10 of those. Give me. Deliveryman. 
Ah, the one I'm playing. Ah, okay. Um, that's this pack here. I can I send you that one. Oh, nice. When you put Let's Play with the Devs on Google, we come up relatively high in the list. <laughs> Just say answer when you let's play with death. There are probably not a lot of let's play with deaths exactly. Uh, where's one second? Um... I mean, most games these days have a lot of people complaining since they didn't release half broken alpha stuff the time so i'm not sure if you want to tell the community you are deaf <laughs> here yes we have some plans on crossbow usage for the for the guards hold on it's not really high on anyone's list to be honest how more shards i need Another nine at least, please. And I think I can now, the build system seems to be ready and it's much quicker. It now needs two minutes in, instead of like 20 to build a char. Oh, nice. Hi Zomos, how are you? How are you doing? And welcome Klee 100, 1661 our newest follower oh nice thanks singer tim <clears throat> and there we go meanwhile we wait i have a feeling that one of these delivery men is going to deliver that quickly no two two run past me and don't bring me my stuff i don't believe it <laughs> Disappointing. I'd say that uh, that says a lot about my leadership skills. I as I went make some compost stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's an option. And we don't have any beehives yet, although that is yet. Meanwhile, I can get some sleep quickly. I gotta wait maybe for some citizens to come home quickly. Totally love them roaming down in the minecarts on the way home. <laughs> it looks pretty great. Ah, another one locked down there. Maybe I got lucky. And no, I didn't. Oh yes, please. Make a... 116 comment, something like this. Um, and welcome as subscriber as well, Pokey. Um, definitely more subscribers and we're going to unlock some emojis hopefully soon again meanwhile I can sleep now there's enough of time there we go 27 sub points we have now I will have to double check when we unlock the next one Um, let me see if the delivery if one of the delivery men stop being lazy now not yet um, 
Yeah, we've we've come pretty far, I have to say as well. <laughs> we totally missed 116. There's not going to be any forge and not going to be any mine colonies version for 116. Or oh, did you guys hear that? That there's like a new mob that is still going to come for maybe like 116.2 or so. It's like they rushed out the release so quickly that on Bedrock Edition the mob was ready and Bedrock Edition has a few bugs that they have to fix yet. And at the same time they are going to have to fix and add the new mob for um, Java Edition yet. I guess a bunch of coders were not happy with those deadlines. Come, Chase, you can do it, you can do it, you can bring me those things. I'm going to do my best to work. Okay, he's going to bring Acacia planks to the workers, so I'm add to the cook. Okay. Now you're going to come back and help me, right? No. <laughs> Yeah, I've built, uh, I got two build, uh, delivery men on the list already to be built. Those are going to be our next workers because we definitely need more. Their queues are overgrowing basically. So that's going to be important. Uh, it's going from the Minecraft Twitter. It's still going to come to Chava Edition, that one, but not yet. Or I don't know when. And the way they wrote it was kind of cryptic as well. It seemed for me like they put a too quick deadline for the Java team. And then we're like, okay, we're going to just release it without. And then we're going to add it a little bit later. Together with some bug fixes we're going to have to do anyway because we're Mojang. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a one seven. The 10 updates of 1710 is probably something they're never going to beat. <laughs> oh, you're Igors? Yeah, that has been a while since I saw you have any having any Igors anymore. I just thought I saw bringing British Marine for me. No? Okay, I'm going to check what... Ouch. Chinese are doing. No, actually Mind the Gap now has a completely different meaning with the uh, um, underground rail lines, don't you think? Yeah. Uh. Yes, my lord. Okay, she got brick stairs in her list. She's going to do exactly that gap. Hi, Architect BMW. How are you doing? He also said hi to you, some add-ons. Hi. Sorry, it's... I explained it yesterday already. It's, he, he doesn't have the manners because he grew up without his parents in the German subway system. We're fine. Doing good. I kind of found out that the library for the signatures I'm, I'm going to have to use has a hundred times worse performance than the standard library for signatures so that's a bummer so much for your performance test so much for performance tests yep. I guess you have to use the standard library then <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's complicated because signature schemes, there is what? a what lot of variance between them, depending, not the library, but actually the scheme, like RSA is relatively slow, while the um, curve algorithms blockchain uses are pretty quick, but are like not provable safe. So like mm. there are possible attack vectors against it. Oh, 
What are you guys doing down here? It seems you're unhappy with this here. Um, meanwhile, depending on the signature scheme, you they're not very flexible. Like you can't make smaller signatures or combine them. So there are a few problems that are not very easy to solve. Okay. But you got a prototype now, so you are done. Yes, citizens with the name Dinnerbone are turned upside down. Yeah, the, all Minecraft entities. All Minecraft entities, also modded ones. You can also do that with um, pirates if you want. Got Cooper working here. Oh, Cooper yeah. is sick, I see. Oh, we can reuse that for our prison. Any prison <laughs> barbarian or pirate will be upside down. <laughs> <laughs> That's an option. Putting them upside down. I saw someone doing that, like adding uh, a neat hat. No, not hat. A neat thing. A lot of guards hungry here. Where they put like a citizen upside down as a decoration and spiders on the ceiling upside down as a decoration too. I mean that's the least thing Minecraft could have done, put spiders upside down when they have a solid block above them, right? I love yeah. That's not that, that difficult. That is especially not difficult. They have the code. Especially since they have the code, exactly. If you want to, you can do that, yes. So there, that mob here that is still bothering me. Where is it? I know there are some down here. Where are you? I know there was another one. Wasn't there? Doesn't seem like it. I think I killed it. It still had this red icon on the map. It was always confusing with the barbarian. So I wanted to take care of that one too. Or turn them sideways when they climb up walls, exactly. There's a lot of things they could have done, but as always, they prefer adding pandas. Or wandering traders. Or wandering traders. Uh, I'm going to re-request it. No, I'm going to search for it. I'm, I'm tired. Where is it? I'm going to find it myself. I'm an adult. I can do this. Not here. No. Okay, that is going a bit quicker than I even expected it. Okay. No. Yeah, they put it in the vote and then it was like, game mechanics we should improve because they're actually very important. New fancy stuff, people are going to go like, oh. And then, yeah. Yeah. Who needs game mechanics if you can have visual oh, stuff? <laughs> oh, did you see that we have so much gunpowder? Wow. Yeah, we have a lot of mob drops from our farm. I did see that. It's, it's like the easiest mob farm ever. Oh, there Get we go. Get a guard. Place him inside. I really yeah. dislike one red right traders. Some ender pearls too. Uh, what was the recipe here? Two. 
and I'm going to give it to the builder. So we got our prismarine now. Even though it was in the last possible chest I could find it. Do you oh, find a desert raid? Desert raid? Yes. Music didn't start for me yet. Ready? For me? Play the starting sound. Ah, did I turn off the I did, did turn off the music. And it's your fault. Oh, I, I want to hear the desert music. I love the desert music. I turn back on. Just gonna have to wait for the trigger. And I need my... Oh, I thought I slept. Here, now. Is it still turned off? Music is on now. So I'm going to... I... For, for the tavern, I extra set the music to be ambient music and not music music. So you can turn off mic off music. <laughs> <laughs> it was south west. It's di directly south of our walls. I can see them. They're walking! Bring the guards! I'm coming. Oh god, they noticed me. I'm running. Attack! Through the arms! Ah! I'm under attack! Kill them! All of them! Kill them with fire! Ah! I'm dying! I died. So that's going to be fun. All the guards are going to run back again. Oh yes, we do have a bunch of different raid times. We have Amazons, we have Mummies, we have Vikings. There are a bunch of things we have now. Don't come back, people! Don't! Wrong direction! <laughs> oh, most of the raiders seem dead already. Yeah, I've got like five or so on me. So we got Leo here still fighting. Nice, Leo. Oh, Leo, almost alone, killed that one. And he doesn't have very high levels. Okay. Four left. Maybe those went the other direction. Yeah, probably. See how helpful the walls are? <laughs> Without wards, we'd be fighting them inside our colony, next to our citizen huts. Yeah, exactly. Walls are so important. Oh, they are already almost inside. Oh, wow. You killed me from the back. <laughs> you went backward. You shot me in the back. I was aiming for a barbarian and you went into the... Great <laughs> aim you have, some Adams. How, how do I get those enchanted keys again? Right click on the grave. You know the grave we have next to the citizen art? Okay, I'm going to need to make some more doors again. We do, yeah, the mummies need some new sounds, yes. Kalsenor! <laughs> we need some mummy sounds. 
we could add some nice micron in these custom doors like gates like so you can really have a siege on a gate ah uh, yes which take longer to break and then you can really fight there I think that's nice can have a gate research And then a gate builder worker, gate tier. <laughs> uh, we, we've been working on improving the voice acting things. And we've got a new group of voice actors doing some of the voices. So one of a few of them should, yeah, we could have them use the zombie sounds too. That's true. And we'll have to set that up. Um, yes. Did any guard die? <laughs> I think none. I think we actually survived it with any death. That was a... Not the single one, yes. Just the start on this. Just me. <laughs> the new 133 doesn't work either. I'm going to tell Orion. <laughs> I'm sure he's having fun. Oh yeah, he's he, he's he's loving this. I'm a hundred percent sure that he's loving this. Going to send him the message. It's like Gia with the teams. Um. It's, it's, he's probably loving it as much as Nightenum is loving me bugging him about porting structurized GUIs. <laughs> <laughs> well, Knight is the one who knows most about rendering. Yeah, yeah, he's the one who knows the most about rendering. Good that I'm, one, I'm the one who knows least about it. Yeah, you're definitely the one who knows the least about. It's me helpful because I don't need to do anything about that shit. <laughs> I I actually I was I was as bad with rendering as you were, only a, yeah, a little bit time ago. Yeah. One fifteen, you started looking into it some more. Yeah, I had when porting one fifteen, I had to port all the border rendering and the building outline renderings and these kinds of things. So I kind of. Have a rough understanding is probably a good way to say it. Not a very great understanding, but like a rough understanding on how it works. But not as much as um, Orion or Nightingale have, definitely. Orion knows a bunch of their OpenGL stuff too. Yeah, Orion is better. Yes, I'm doing radar balance. Yes, Amedans does radar balance. I just add new oh raiders, name. and that's what I, I do. Roof over my head. Or to be exact, I bother texture artists to send me stuff for new raiders. The code is not a lot of work. Especially now since I balanced with code in a way that adding new raiders is extremely easy and mainly yeah especially such similar ones especially since they're very similar yes the code to actually have different um, ship raider types was actually a bunch of work but after that was done now adding new ones is very easy dark oak fences okay how many do I have the list with me? It's in here. Okay. There we go. Ten dark oak fences. That should not be so difficult. Um, the models are different and there are a few drop specifics and 
health, etc. But generally they're very similar, yes. Any dark oak. Can you bring me like a stack of them, please? So if mummies spawn in ladders, raiders are universal and pirates in the coastline. The Nordic um, raiders spawn in taiga biomes. And we do have raider bosses. Like um, the pharaoh and the chiefs are actually the bosses of the raids. The pirate captains are for example super powerful. If you haven't noticed yet. Yeah, we do have longship uh, Viking raids, yes. And they happen if your colony is in Taiga and they spawn in the water, basically. A simple rule, I guess. Dum de dum. Yes, I got my dark locks. Great. Um, let me just. Get some sticks. That is fence gate. No, I don't want fence gates. I always make this error. There we oh, go. Yeah, the new new fence we saw. I think in one one seven it was reversed. Like you had sticks around the planks. I'm, I'm not sure. But I feel like there that, that might have been, yes. Okay, I gave him the items. And we're already at night again. So we gotta find a band. We have some nice background music. Them. Let me push up the infrastructures quickly before the builder is um, ready. So if I put the infrastructure waypoints up to the list, he's going to build them all quickly. Up, 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 up. That was going to be not at the top of the list yet. Okay, because those are like one click and ready. So let's put them on the top of the list quickly. There we go. Our list is pretty long. Our list is pretty long, yes. But, but I lost a... Taking longer since the uh, reset system keeps resetting. Yeah, the recurse system started resetting again because we got a lot of buildings. I wanted to actually check out... Let me dump another load of stuff here again quickly. And then I want... I have my clipboard here. So I wanted to actually check what kind of requests we have running in our colony again. Oops, wrong. Oh. That is a ton of iron in your requests. What the hell? Let me request as cancel them a little bit. I wonder who makes all those. Is it maybe the blacksmiths? I would guess the blacksmiths. Would, would be re nice if, if it would show who created it. Need to reset it. <laughs> Another four. I would guess those are the requests for armor. Yeah, I will press this button. So four would be one set of armor he is trying to make. Oh. Um, are we so out of iron already? Let me check the wells. Um, I guess so, because else it would be delivered. Now those I want to keep. 
to make a bunch of food. Yeah, we don't have a single iron. So I'm, I'm going underground for a little bit to try to get some iron here. I had 20 left in my inventory. I gave it to them. There we go. No, this matter shouldn't have any iron. Yeah, but 15. We need a little bit more than 15 iron only. Yeah, we need more. There we run. Run, Ray. Run. What's here? Gonna take some torches. Hmm, funny. When I recall our pupils in the school, most of them are sitting fine on the carpet, and one is bugging through the ground. <laughs> yeah, it's kind. It's kind of weird. It's it doesn't happen all the time, and I don't know why exactly it happens. I don't know either. I'm wondering if it happens. Is it the same if... code for all. Yeah. I don't have a hammer with me right now. But I actually didn't want to go in this direction. Do I? I can just go a little bit in this direction. In mine just here. There. In this direction, I'm seeing some zombies in this direction. So I guess I'm going to hit some... Some caves relatively soon. So that's going to be useful. There we go. There we go. Dum -dum. So I can hear the zombies already. They seem to be in this direction here. Can he hear you guys? Where are they? Upstairs? No. Down? Where are those darn zombies? I guess it was weird, I can't really find where they're hanging out. Can you hear them? Ah, it, this means upstairs and I have to go straight. Straight in this direction. I found it. <laughs> ah, die. Ouch, die. Okay, we've made it. The slate cave. And I'm searching for iron and for slate. Uh -oh. Can hear a bunch more mobs around me though. Iron! Yes! That's the thing I was looking for. This is one of these weird water caves I really dislike. 
So we go straight here and hope to find... Yeah, nothing. Dead end, I don't believe it. Is there maybe another direction this is going? I'm going to look on the... Maybe the ray get lost, got lost emoji. I think I can maybe dive through that water here. So there seems to be like only darkness here. I don't want to go into this darkness. I have to back out a little bit. <laughs> Is there anything useful here? Or only lots of water and a cave outside as well. Only well, here's water as well, right? Or does it go outside? Oh, we made it! Nice! <laughs> I was getting panic already. Just for n not to find anything at all. <laughs> okay, we made it again. I really dislike those uh, water caves with slate around them. Yeah, that's the worst cave ever. I definitely agree with you on that one. Very disappointing cave. Where was my entry here? Made some tunnel somewhere. Was it here? Yes. There we go. We're back in the tunnel. We run a little bit. Um, dum de dum. That was definitely the worst cave ever. Barely worth the inconvenience. Oh, there's a big cave ahead. I think that's going to be more interesting. <laughs> There's a cave here, nice. Is there any iron in here? Yes, here. Neat. That's a nice amount of iron. More iron! More! I had a kind of neat idea, I say, but I kind of, I really have feel like agony in Minecraft caves. <laughs> in water, underwater. Yeah, it's quite annoying. I like lava more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually prefer lava. Um, yeah, we've been working on the Patreon pack. Um, Wissy has given it to a few Patreons, and I think relatively soon we're going to have something playable there, and we'll be starting to release the server. That seems not a water one. Ah, here we- Ah! Lord, don't do this with my heart. Come on, legs. No stairs, and you see lava from where you're falling down. On a brute. Maybe you need some letters. No. Oh, it's, it's one of those crack gigantic lava caves. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those. It's also disabled in the next pack. Yeah, that's going to be disabled in the next pack, too. 
Champ. Okay. <laughs> For once, letters wouldn't help. They definitely wouldn't. Maybe you can let some down and clamp down. Okay. We hand around a few of these here. Then I need a few more. Ah, nice. We got some of that. <laughs> ah! Darn. Creeper explosions. I guess I'm outside of the colony in the field then. We play some more ladders around here. If I get blown up. Yeah, but that was a good comment. Someone is suggesting you changing your name to some letters instead of some addons. No, then it would be many letters. Yeah, it's not only some letters, it's many letters. Yeah, some letters. Uh, how many? Some? <laughs> Anyway. I'm not going to. But you said they have a lot of useful drops, so I killed them this time. Yeah, so 33. What I... Oh, nice, they dropped oh. a bunch of iron, yes. Yeah. And Even diamonds. Gold. Two diamonds. Not so, not so shabby, though, either. See, it's like, do have nice drops. Not so shabby, not so shabby, true. Okay. All the letters? That would also be a fitting name, yes. So Meta's going to create that only Mine Colonies uh, citizen can craft letters in any pack with Mine Colonies. <laughs> yeah, so you have to use Mine Colonies. So you have to use Mine Colonies if you want to have letters. I was thinking I could make a little mod which just gives away a letter every minute or so. <laughs> a little more added to performance. Every player gets yeah. a gets a letter every minute, and people are going to be like, "What the heck is happening? Where are these letters coming from?" Yeah, to somebody figures it out. <laughs> it would definitely be funny. Maybe something for April first or so. Yeah, let's look what that is. Okay, another one of those. Need to kill the cave spiders first. Oh wow, those are quite quick actually on their feet. I got a bunch of diamonds at this time. Three. Bone blocks. And some iron. Not so not so shabby. Are you close to our colony? Not very. Why? I was wondering what happens if you take some guards along. I'm not I'm not close enough for that. Since our guards are pretty strong and then yeah, it should be quite easy. <laughs> that is true. It does it. I did that once to just have an additional inventory. Plus, you have additional inventory too. Just throw any stuff into them, they so get it home. Unless they die, then it's bad. Okay. I guess we are ready on this side of the lava lake. No, uh, we go to the other side. See, so, yeah, there's another one of these spawners, and a bunch of mobs spawned in the meanwhile here. Yeah, those caves have a lot of mobs.
Well, I can see a bunch of creepers around here. Okay. One exploded. Hi, House of Doggers. How have you been? I'm here busily avoid trying to avoid not dying. Let's let's call it as it is. Let's be honest. <laughs> okay, one other of these quirk thingies. Most of them are going to just fall into lava. Nice. So I'm going to come back with a bunch of iron, definitely. At least two stacks, it seems. Ah! A spider in the dark. Two stacks. Nice. So that's going to be like double with the smelter. Oh, with yeah. the smelter. So that's going to be a neat quantity. Yeah, I definitely don't want to die. I'm too young for that. Oh, there's another cave spider here. I didn't I hadn't seen? If you took your uh, 37 guts long, it would be no problem. <laughs> With 37 guards. The, 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 but the bad part is a lot of them would die in the lava here. That would be the bad part of this. Yeah, maybe they would fall in. But only maybe normally they don't walk in. I, I fixed that recently. They should be smarter now. What is this? What is this weird thing here? I got no idea, they just vanish when you get close. Ah, I read about those in Quark. They carry some items along, and if you catch them, they give you the item. But they just run away quickly and then disappear. Ah, okay. I was, with sh oh, ah! I have to say, with shaders, all of this is a good bit scarier than without shaders. Because the lightning is not as... With the new death pack we got some ambient ones as well, so it should be even more scary then. Yeah. Neat. <laughs> we got another one coming here. And I wanted to add some nice difficulty mod, but we said no. Yeah, <laughs> some Adams wanted to add some very mean mods, and I said it's no. Mean. It's a nice, nice difficulty mod. It gives like some mobs stars, and they have additional abilities. It's pretty incredible how far the witches can throw their po poisons yeah. in time. Like, wow. And this how many do they have? And how many do they have? Infinite, almost, it seems. Yeah. yeah. Now, he wanted to add champions. Those are, like, yeah. super yeah. difficult to defeat mobs. Nah, no, not that difficult. A bit more difficult. <laughs> Unless you happen to get a four-star champion. Those are really difficult. <laughs> they are very, very rare. It's like... One star is more common than two stars, and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're deadly accurate as well, the... The witches. For me, the witches is the worst mob, uh... No, baby zombies are the worst mob. But after baby zombies, it's witches. Ah, some iron up there. I hadn't seen that one. There we go. A baby witches? That would be just insane. 
You want idea? <laughs> I, I just thought the same thing. A mod, a mod that does nothing else besides adding baby, fast baby edition of skeletons oh. and witches. And creepers. Oh, and mini creepers. Creeper. Oh, that would be insane. Charged mini creeper. Charged mini creepers. Hey. And then you get the new pitch up the sounds a bit, and then it goes like. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have um, baby ghasts as well in the mod. Oh yeah. They're like ghasts, but just super <laughs> fast. <laughs> and small. And small. <laughs> and they spawn like flies. <laughs> they spawn like flies. Now it's getting insane. <laughs> I'm going to see if I missed something here in the cave, but it seems fine so far. Um, I don't have to teleport home, I can just go to that part where I'm coming from, up here, because that is the tunnel. Don't have to cheat, I can run home. North is my home. There's a mod for that already. You said Ingerton? That's possible. Yes, it's north. <laughs> Good mic, Margo. I'm going to call it a night relatively soon as well. See ya tomorrow, probably. Hopefully. Yeah, run for us, run. <laughs> okay, I'm going to teleport home. This is taking too long. There we go. Um, I'm going to bring my, and I'm going to bring a, the chunk loot in the warehouse first. Does this? Yes. Now I'm going to the smelter. Now I'm going to just dump it in the warehouse too. The smelter is going to get it anyway. What's the bane of arthropods? This and this. More stuff. Here. Diamonds. Cave fruits, the book. I think the rest is fine here in the desu, maybe. Fine. Okay, the other one now. What do you want to put? That's it, basically, right? Ah, nice. One teleports. The diamonds here we can put here too. There we go. I got the mall music disc as well. It's neat. Yeah, the stash is like a pickup box for delivery men. I do use the warehouse sword option relatively often though. But I like to know more or less where the things are. So I don't use it too often because it changes and reshuffles every time. Um, yeah, I'm waiting for the um, iron back from the smelter and then we're probably going to start a new research on uh, for the guards. Um, it's getting l pretty late here. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks everyone who's following and subscribing. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed our video and our little colony update. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow again. Thanks for tuning in. Good night, everyone. Have a good one. And thanks, Xeb Biden, for following us right now as well. Good night, everyone.